Explaining your career story is crucial to making a good first impression with a prospective employer. Tiffany Daniels with Workforce Solutions joins us this morning to talk about this very topic. Thanks for joining us, sure, Tiffany. Always you. good to have you here. So what exactly do you mean by your career story? There's one question that is always going to come up in a job interview. It's going to be, why did you leave your last job? Or if you're still working, why are you looking to leave? You know, you're gainfully employed. Why are you trying to make that jump? What's the next step? And that's a very difficult question to answer. It's one that if you haven't practiced, it's really easy to give an emotional response. And that's not always the, the most positive uh, way to explain your career story. You say it's important to be truthful, but to be able to control that message. Right. What do you mean by controlling the message? People leave jobs for any number of reasons. Sometimes you are asked to leave, forced to leave by either being laid off or fired. Sometimes you are just ready for the change in maybe an industry or there was a change in management within your team and it really just wasn't a fit any longer. And all of those things are very understandable, but the way that you explain it is going to help that future employer get an idea of what type of employee you are. If you're blaming the reason that you left your job or the reason that you were asked to leave on relationships with a manager or a coworker, while that may be the truth, it sends up red flags that this is a person that may be difficult. They've had issues in the past with management or with teamwork. So beyond the skills that you can bring to the table and the personality that you bring to the interview, those little things are always going to kind of ring in the back of the mind of that HR manager, whoever you're interviewing with. Right, because nobody wants to hire somebody who has the potential to be a toxic em right. employee who's right. always being negative. And then that attitude that you portray during your job interview is, is so important. So so how do we um, put out a happy story? How do we put out a truthful but, but positive story that could get me that job? Mm -hmm. It really depends on your situation. Uh, for instance, if you're laid off, it's really easy to say, well, I was laid off, the economy was bad. And those things very well may be the truth. But how do you shape that? What does that mean? You were laid off. Did you have warning? Did you start looking for other jobs? What did you do that in that time in between? Were you just looking for jobs and applying online? Did you find volunteer opportunities? Did you read up on some of the industry research in your area so that you'd be able to bring that knowledge to your next job? Quickly answer the question and move on to how you'd be a benefit, what you did to better yourself, grow your skills, and how you're ready for this new employer. Don't dwell on why it was a bad situation mm -hmm. in the old place or your current place if you're right. still working. D don't dwell on the negative. Never don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, well, and the takeaway here is be prepared for that be big... Be prepared for it. Be prepared for that practice. question. Practice. <laughs> it never hurts to practice. Tiffany no. Daniels, thank you so much with Workforce Solutions. We always appreciate you being here. Thank you.